Hi guys. So, before you think something seriously has gone wrong, let me tell you that I had a viral throat infection, which I still have some residue of left. Um, so my voice sounds very exciting. So just bear with it. Um, I couldn't wait any longer to just come see you guys uh, and to let you know that I'm a very, very lucky girl and I am a very loved girl. Um, in the past two days I have had, oh my God, so much love come my way from every continent possible. My home looks like a garden of Eden. It's just flowers and love and more importantly, you know, all of the uh, prayers and best wishes people have been sending. Oh my God, it's like been overwhelming you guys. Thank you for that. Um, I'm feeling fine. It's just the voice. Um, it's the viral. So please bear with that and don't at all feel like I'm not doing well. I'm doing well. But if I had to wait for the viral to get better, it'll take forever for me to come say hello. To bandata. I had to come say hi to you before. Listen, guys. So many things have happened to so many people in this last month, um, going into this month, that all we can really do is just count our blessings to be on the other side of what a lot of people have not been able to somehow to be on the other side of. Um, I just wanted to tell you, I love you very, 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 very much. Because from the moment that uh, the health started to go all over the place, I knew that if I were to send out a message to you guys and say, I'm not feeling very well, send me energy, um, that somehow I'll get better. That's exactly what happened, by the way. I shot out that message and love came pouring in, uh, good wishes came pouring in. You're my kind of people, you know? And that's just something that makes me so very proud to know every day of my life that my life's greatest earning is generation of goodness uh, and generations of fantastic energy. And I love you for that. So thank you again. Now, please bear with me as I thank a very few important key people. Thank you, darling. Um, who made a huge difference to um, getting me here in one piece. Um, and it took an army of people, let me tell you. We'll come down to talking about what happened and how it happened later. Right now, this is my thank you post, which is live. Because <laughs> these people just went out of their way and did so many things for me. Like, I can't even begin to tell you guys. Um, let's begin with Sia, with Carl, with Pankaj. They were in an immediate environment. Um, not only were they family and amazing to be around through it all, they also respected the fact that I liked my privacy. And so everything was kept very hushed and private. Um, and thank you for that, Mr. and Mrs. Madhvani. Um, I cannot thank you guys enough for being so Couldn't have been in a better environment and place and around better people uh, if it had to do with my health or my heart. So thank you. Um, to all my consulting doctors, so it's a long list and it's ugly clear, so I don't miss anybody. Um, Dr. Vivek, Dr. Tongia, um, Dr. Ajay, hello in Hyderabad, uh, Dr. Jamshed Dalal. Dr. Medekar, Dr. Keki Turel. These are all people who, you know how difficult it is to call somebody. And these are all very, very 
busy doctors and not everyone has my number saved but one phone call and they all this is just God's blessing everyone picked up their phones and I got the opinions I needed on time so thank you for that all of you all it's a huge blessing to have that um, and finally my most favorite man um, most favorite doctor as well he's the ICU head of Nanavati Dr. Abdul Ansari uh, he saved my life more than once now so he's making that a good habit uh, his entire ICU team wonderful people uh, Dr. Mayur special mention Dr. Rahul thank you both so so much for doing everything that you have done and continue to do so um, you my favorite cardiologist Dr. Rajiv Bhagwat who's the one by the way that said I had a big heart because my arteries were gorgeous except for this one that had to be dealt with um, thank you for making all of this so painless and promising because it all went off beautifully so thank you for that but to Nanavati and all to all the members and um, doctors and security and faculty members my hats off my only request was that nobody should know that I was admitted and that there was a procedure going on and they honored that and held it in its privacy uh, all the way till when I was discharged and thereafter so thank you for that I really really appreciate it Nanavati now if I miss somebody I'm sure I'll come back to thanking them but thank you God and um, thank you awareness you know I always thank awareness guys this is something that you should always always thank God for is your conscious mind and your ability to take decisions that could impact everything in your life life itself so that yes oh my god I can see so many hearts yes I will get well soon and yes I can't wait to get back on Arya's set because I'm going to give you a season three like never before uh, everyone's going to be sitting there with their hearts in their mouths I, I'm sure of that because they're gonna be like God don't do that God don't do that um, but you know what I think when you get a new lease to life and you respect it you of course are careful but that is when you learn how to exercise and strengthen your will even more so um, so yeah you better believe it the best is yet to come I feel like I'm suddenly glowing I can't explain it it's like um, something was stopping that glow before to be there in its entirety and this one stent has brought it back it's like come on something is always going to happen love in our lives but when it does happen if you can wake up on the other side of life then you're lucky and then you're blessed um, so I know a lot of you uh, will stop going to the gym and say no, but see going to the gym didn't help her not good not good it did help me I survived a very very big heart attack it was massive at a 95% locket in the main artery um, it did because I have kept an active lifestyle things happen to our body for many reasons and we are not doctors and we are not scientists and we don't know everything but we do know that what is in our hand 
we must follow through on that, okay? We must understand our body. Um, I was never an athlete, so I've not monitored my heart my whole life, except that I've known that it's in the right place. Um, and I kid you not, even today, I believe that for what it's worth, it was a phase and it passed. And I'm very lucky, like I said, to be on the other side of it. Um, but that doesn't put fear in my heart. It puts a sense of promise, uh, something to look forward to. Uh, so you better believe it. Keep moving, darling. And in these times when very young people are not surviving heart attacks, it is important to keep checking yourself. If there's one piece of advice I'll give you, love, is even if you're very young, which at 47 I do feel strange, but if you're in your 20s or so, most people would tell you it can't be the heart. Don't listen to them. I will run the symptoms by you because the good thing about being on the other side of a heart attack is you felt those symptoms and now it's easier to explain them. Women, it's real. Heart attack is not a men thing. Um, and it's okay, nothing to be afraid of, but important to be vigilant. Um, so we will run that on another time before I lose my voice completely. But guys, bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you. And yeah, I read all your some 8,000 messages on the post. Um, I don't know how many of my WhatsApp friends and people on different social medias would be watching this live, but I will put it up there. It's just humanly impossible to respond to everybody and my fraternity and loved ones and well-wishers and people from all over the world have sent me the most beautiful messages and I have been reading and in good time inshallah I will get to respond to everybody but I'm just taking it easy for now so please don't be offended if I do not respond or take it to your heart if I don't pick up the call it's just I'm prioritizing my life at the moment um, and it's beautiful to do that so you guys watch out shortly after my doctors clear me i will be heading back to jaipur to finish aria and from there i will up update you and keep you posted uh, i have to finish dubbing for thali voice i tell you when it comes it all comes together but another beautiful team uh, thali's team hoot producers, uh, the director, Ravisa, Arjun and Karthik, everyone. Very sweet, very understanding, very kind. It is such a joy to work with people who collaborate with you. Uh, they don't just work with you, they collaborate in every sense of the word. I love you guys. Thank you very, very, very much. For those of you who obviously did not know that I was going to come live, as always, and are going to be very upset with me that you missed it. I promise you this is the beginning of many lives. I will be back again very, very soon. As I say, Dukkha, Dukkha. Ashi guys, aapko bhi bahut sara pyar. <laughs>